What's up YouTube, Oliver here. Uh, in today's video, um, we're going to be having a look at two applications, OmniGraffle and OmniPlan. Now these are both made by the Omni Group and they are Mac apps. So uh, OmniGraffle is a diagramming application. It's quite like Microsoft Visio. Um, and it just it has a lot of um, very intuitive and very useful diagramming tools. OmniPlan is a project management uh, and Gantt chart app, which is very like Microsoft Project really. Um, it allows you to sort of put all of your, your tasks in there and, and do things like critical path analysis uh, and track all of your projects. These are both very useful apps. Um, they have Mac and iPad versions, although in this video we're going to just be looking at the Mac versions. You can get these both directly from the Omni Store and on the Mac App Store. Uh, and now one thing worth pointing out is they are fairly expensive. Um, I think the Pro versions are you know in excess of a hundred pounds, but um, you know they are very worth it if you're going to be using these on a professional level because they are very high-end applications. Okay, so let's have a look. This is what OmniPlan looks like when you first open it. Um, as I say, if you've ever used Microsoft Project, I think this is a very similar application. It does have a lot of similar features. It's a very advanced project management tool. Um, you know, it's the kind of thing that large organizations with thousands of employees, various, you know, hundreds of resources uh, you would use where things like time scales are very important, costings can be calculated, um, and it has got some really, really nice um, functionality um, that allows it to do things like if you specify milestones, you can create critical paths. Um, if you add in, you know, certain information, it can automatically reschedule projects if they're not running at time. But to be fair, that is very advanced functionality. And if you don't know how to use it, it does get very complicated. Um, for a lot of people that just want to basic, you know, have a way of managing tasks, um, such as myself, I tend to use a lot more of the simple functionality. I do like a Gantt chart because I'm a visual person. I do like to be able to see my project nicely laid out and I've got all of my tasks broken down here um, and basically I've just specified the deadlines and you can you know adjust the color coding for each individual task and subtask and so on um, so I'll just quickly go through some of the, the tools it, I, we haven't really got time in this video to go through everything in depth because as I say it is a very high level uh, project management tool um, so you firstly you have your tasks view and this can show it, the kind of list you can customize what appears here as well you can right click and add loads of different columns um, to your task view here and then you've got your gantt chart on this side um, it tells you you know you can drag these along to mark whatever the completion is of, of different tasks in order to kind of track those and then when you put your mouse you get this little tool tip which tells you your completion start dates end dates and so on so it's a really nice way of being able to manage your projects the view is very customizable as well because i set these you can specify exactly how you want the date to appear um, and i specified i wanted to view it weekly you could have it daily if you wanted to or anything like that and then obviously the blue bar here indicates where we currently are the next view along this is your resource view um, resources could be anything in this case I've just put like the modules as different resources just because I like the way it looks if you wanted to you could specify things like members of staff could be resources other things could be you know like physical resources for example a computer or a camera or you know, like a piece of equipment and you can also look at things like um, resource costings as well for example if you have to hire a specific resource you might want to you know uh, analyze exactly you kind of um, costings for that and, and so on um, the next view along is your um, work week view so this allows it to specify exactly what your working hours are so I've got 8 till 12 and then 1 till 5 and what that basically does is then as you can see here tells you exactly um, what your effort units are so if you specify a work day it knows exactly how many hours are in your work day and therefore if you specify like a whole project it can break down individual tasks and if you say a task is going to take me 8 days it can break that down specifically into hours so for example if you're hiring something by the hour it can really let you work out exactly you know how long you need and, and that kind of thing you've also got this network chart view here um, basically just shows you the individual tasks um, in the kind of order that things need to be completed in there's various things here so for example there's it splits off into different things and then it's also that that has its own dependencies it's just the way it's generated that view it looks a bit messy for that particular um, 
task there but that's how it basically shows those on a on a network map and then you finally have your layout options you can customize things like the fonts that you want to use uh, colors and all that kind of thing um, and then you've got some other tools along the top so you can choose to edit compare so if you're working with um, various different people say in a company you're working with your colleagues to plan a project you can compare it and then you've got options along here which allow you to sort of manually um, make dependencies and assign resources. Uh, tools along here which allow you to reschedule projects and update completion, save uh, snapshots. You've also got your um, reports window so you can generate nice reports. You've got various different templates here. So you could have like say series business is quite a nice one. And then all you can do is you can, you know, like say you want a task report, it'll print off a list of all the information about every task resource report you know anything like that you know really useful for business purposes when you need to produce specific reports about the projects that you're working on um, and you just got a few more tools along there um, so if we go back to the task view and um, you've got all your project information here you can add milestones and show critical paths you've got more detailed if you click on a specific task you can kind of view like the effort and the duration um, these kind of things are calculated automatically when you put in the start date and the end date um, and that kind of thing it tells you that it's like 78 week effort uh, and all that kind of thing and then you've got the resources so if you go to the resource view it just shows you that but you can, as I was saying before um, you can specify like um, just click on a resource how much it costs per hour or whatever and then you can actually analyze how much the project's going to cost you You've also got styles for specific objects and that kind of thing. And you can add custom fields as well if you want to add your own field. Uh, and also you can add file attachments to the to the individual tasks. Um, so basically that's I think all there is to kind of show on that. I don't want to go into too much detail because there's so much advanced functionality that some of the stuff I don't even understand myself. But um, it's a very, very... Um, advanced tool very useful you know i don't think there's anything quite like it available for the mac and it, it is very like microsoft project basically um so let's move on to omnigraffle next okay so within uh, omnigraffle you create a new document um by just going up to new and what happens is you can create as many canvases as you want within that one document i'll show you an example later on of something that i've made earlier which had has various different canvases but it's something that's really useful if so you're working on a software development project and you want to create various different diagrams but you want them all saved in one document so you can easily go between them all um, so you can have multiple canvases all within the same file and then you obviously have layers within a canvas the sidebar displays all your canvases and layers here. Um, again, there's, there's quite a lot of different tools here, but you've got your shape tool. Um, so for example, you might want to draw a square um, and we'll draw another one. It kind of shows you your guides there. One thing worth pointing out is for some reason when you click on a tool and then you say you draw a shape, it immediately goes back to the select tool. So if you want to draw a number of shapes, you've got to manually click back into the shape tool every time you want to do that and it's the same with any of the tools i don't know why it does that but it doesn't stay on the same tool you've got to keep clicking into it after you've used it um, a little bit irritating but nothing major and then you can just use your connector tool to draw a line between the two and then if you go up to your properties in the sidebar you can choose for example with your line you might want to have a double arrow on one end you can choose whether you want it to be curved i mean not really appropriate here but you can choose to have you know all sorts of different options for your line. Um, so it's a really useful diagram tool. Um, you've got lots of different options along here. Um, so you can draw things like we're using a pen tool, you've got point editors, um, you can create artboards, you can uh, create connected graphics in the current style. You've got things like brushes and rubber stamps, which let you to duplicate the current object that you're working on. Um, you can click on Magnus if you want to edit and you click on the shape, you, you get different magnet points. Obviously, you've got your zoom and, and kind of pan tools there. You can click on an object, send it to the front, the back, lock, etc. It gives you all of your dimensions up here. You can also adjust the rotation um, and, and all that sort of thing. All your fill colors and your object properties are in the sidebar on the right-hand side in this inspector. 
Um, so you, you have got a lot of flexibility. You can you can create all your own custom shapes. But what I like, a really useful feature is the stencils tool. Um, so again, going back to software development, I've got the UML um, stencils open here, but you've got loads of different things. You know, you've got UML, you've got, um, you could have UX kits, so you can, I mean, that's colors, but you can drag your, your, your different kind of stencils out there. You've got like your hardware, so you could drag out like a phone, that kind of thing. And you can also search. So you, you only get like certain pre-installed uh, stencils, but say I want to get like some network equipment. You can just type in network and what happens is you get like AWS um, icons and you can just choose to download them. So this is Amazon Web Services, but you can just drag different shapes out, you know. But it is a great tool, um, especially for if you you know doing software development if you're a network engineer really useful tool to be able to create very nice advanced diagrams um you can also have a grid so we can choose to show grid lines and you can adjust the size of the grid um and you can adjust things like snapping to grid uh, and so on but that would be for another video <laughs> more like an in-depth tutorial so i'll now show you something that i made earlier just to give you an idea of the kind of thing that you can do this was just some software um as you can see so you have things like your canvases which appear so you've got your use case diagram a sequence diagram and then within the canvas you've got layers and then within the layers you've got all the individual shapes that you've used which is you know it's really therefore a very nice way of organizing lots of advanced diagrams so you can go right down to the individual tools and pieces of text and so on and you can also go down to like a high level view where you're just looking at the individual canvases and because this is basically set up like a diagram and everything's linked you know you can drag the user and the lines will stay with the user um you know you can drag these out and everything stays together because it's all linked it's not just like a drawing it knows these objects are linked together in, in a diagram and it's the same sort of thing with your sequence diagram so you know you can move these along and all the lines will follow suit um but yeah it is it is a really nice tool for creating diagrams there's lots you can do with it i find it as a software developer and computer scientist i find this really useful um, for, for working on all sorts of software projects. It's, in my opinion, the best diagramming tool for the Mac, and I have tried lots of different ones, and in my opinion, it's, it's really one of the only applications of its kind. It is like Visio for Mac, but in my opinion, it's a bit better. Um, it's, a, it's a really useful tool. Now, these are both professional level apps, and therefore, you know, the pricing is quite high. You are going to be, you know, paying nearly, for the pro versions, I believe it's, it's like over £100 um, for each application and then if you want the iPad versions as well it's like another £30 or something like that and this is currently at the time of making this video so they're not cheap to buy um, and like I said though they do have iOS versions for both of these you can download the iOS versions for free and use them as a trial and then they'll work as a viewer so I can still view all of my diagrams on my iPad um, but I can't edit them which is fine because I'd probably only edit them on my Mac anyway, but it's nice that I can carry my iPad around and have all of my class diagrams and things like that on there to look at. Um, but it, it is a really handy tool, um, basically. I, I would highly recommend it if it's within your budget and it's the kind of thing you're going to be doing professionally. Um, as with project, you know, there's a lot of very advanced project management tools in there and the mo most individual uh, consumers probably won't need that level of of kind of sophistication from a project management tool um, and, and a video which you'll be also on the channel very soon I'm going to look at an app called Things which is a much more consumer level uh, project management tool um, if you like and that's obviously a much lower price point but I hope this video has been useful and I've been able to answer any of your questions um, a big thank you to the Omni Group for making this possible um, if you do have any questions, please do leave a comment and I'll do my best to respond. If you've liked this video, please do thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this coming your way very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.